is things that I think in theory you should know by the time you're 30. Now don't get boggled down if you're over 30 and just learning about this stuff or maybe you already know some of this stuff and if that's the case great for you you're ahead of the curve. If you're over 30 and you're still learning these things it's okay. Every house is different when you're growing up and not everyone learns the same things and not everyone believes in the same things and just because some ways are old doesn't mean they're wrong. So here we go. Things that I think you should know by the time you're 30. If you are a person that has a toaster in your house and currently uses a toaster, you should be mindful of the fact that there are crumb traps on your toaster that capture all the crumbs coming down and could be gathering bacteria or could be a sitting buffet for rodents and other kinds of bugs who want to eat that to stay alive. So moral of this story, be sure to clean out, clean out the crumb trap from your toasters because the last thing you want is a rat going in and out of your toaster like doo -doo 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 -doo, eating the crumbs from your toast um in case you do not know uh just a little backstory here um a lot of people have been loving the things you should know uh before 30 segment but some of them found them to be a little bit disjointed and all over the place and for me this is because i'm teaching you guys things that i'm potentially learning myself and appeal to a wider variety of an audience but some people did in fact request me to do themed um segments for things you should know before 30. so this one's going to be more of a kitchen edition and things i think you should know by the time you're 30. um so that brings me to eggs all right, guys, if you have eggs sitting in your fridge, you don't know how long they were at the grocery store before you bought them. You're looking at the best by date. You don't know if eggs actually last longer than the expiration date, which by the way, they actually do. Um, here's a really cool way for you to be sure before you put them in your food. Um, if you place an egg in water and it sinks, that means it's fresh. If it starts to float, whether tipping upward or completely float to the surface, that means it's old. What happens is the air pocket inside of the egg actually starts to get bigger and fill in with water. And that's what causes the egg to you uh, start to ch 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 it loses water as the air pocket gets bigger and that's why it ends up floating um, speaking of eggs, not everybody knows the actual way to boil eggs properly to make sure your eggs are actually good. <laughs> um, if you boil an egg and you cut it open and you look at the yolk and it's a greenish gray yolk, that means you actually boiled your egg too long and you overcooked it. Uh, with a boiled egg, uh, whether a soft or hard boiled egg, it should actually be like a yellowish orange instead of a greenish gray. Um, so that's one indicator to tell if you over or undercooked your eggs. Uh, the best way to boil your eggs for a hard boiled egg finish is to put your eggs in um, a pan, fill it with water until they are completely submerged, and put your stove on high to boil. Once it starts boiling, uh, put the heat down to a medium high and count, um, time it for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, take it off, uh, strain out the water, put your eggs in cold water, and then empty out the water. This is going to stop the cooking process, i.e. blanch kind of, um, and then keep the shell on until you're ready to eat them. And that is how you will have a good, not overcooked, hard boiled egg. Now, if you want soft boiled eggs, you're going to do the same process, but only for five minutes instead of 10. That is how you get a soft boiled egg. Um, soft boiled eggs are really, really popular. I've noticed in the UK, you guys will put toasties or crispy soldiers and dip them into the, um, the yolk. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> So moral of the story, 10 minutes for hard boiled, five minutes for soft boiled eggs. Make sure your yolk is a yellow orange instead of a greenish gray. All right. Um, another thing I felt you guys should know in theory by the time you're 30 is certain things that do and don't belong in your fridge. Here we go raw potatoes. So uncooked potatoes should never be placed in your fridge. Here's why. Uh, potatoes are actually a part of the nightshade family along with mushrooms and a few other uh, food items. And what happens is a potato is full of different kinds of starches. And when you put a raw potato into the fridge, uh, the temperature of the fridge is so cold and not conducive for a potato, a raw potato that is. So what happens is it ends up turning the starches to sugar, making your potatoes sweeter and darker when you cook them. And and it makes them a little bit harder to digest and kind of taste a funky. So put your potatoes in a dark, dry place. That is the moral of the story. They do not belong in your fridge. Um, speaking of your fridge, here is a big thing that I see a lot of people do and they do not know that it's actually harmful. So have you ever heard the phrase, you know, uh, cool off your food before you put the lid on it and put it in the fridge? Here's why. 
All right, when you cover hot, hot food in a Tupperware container and you put the lid on, you start to see all kinds of moisture and condensation. That will actually cause bacteria growth. What happens is when you put a bunch of hot things into your fridge, it raises the temperature of your fridge and your fridge is technically supposed to be 40 degrees or below uh, Fahrenheit. And what this, this there's a reason for that. The reason actually is it's called the bacteria danger zone. This occurs between 41 and 135 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the most conducive environment environment for bacteria to flourish and grow on your food. So when you put a bunch of hot items into your fridge, it actually increases the temperature and makes the temperature higher in your fridge. When you put something that's hot and you put a lid immediately on it and put it in the fridge, it builds up condensation, which then builds bacteria on your food. And then if you don't cook your food all the way through, you're eating bacteria that could really make you or somebody else in your household sick. So moral of that story for things you should know before you're 30, cool off your food prior to putting the lid fully on it and putting it in your fridge. All right, everybody. Today's episode was about your toaster crumbs, um, how to properly tell if your eggs are fresh or old, how to properly boil your eggs, and also what you should and shouldn't put in your fridge and when you should cool off your food. Uh, 